it was a combination of um, just uh, good hard police work and technology. That's what Champaign police say helped them achieve victory over violence last year. The numbers show shootings dropped by half since 2021. Good evening, I'm Jessica Coons. The department is looking back on a successful year of what they call proactive policing. They say addressing quality of life concerns was a big priority. WCI3's Scarlett O'Hara with this now. Scarlett, the numbers show their efforts paid off. Police say they spent 23,000 hours training specialized units last year, and that's only one of the reasons why they say public safety is up and violent crime is down. From a record high 259 shootings in 2021, cases dropped to 129 last year in Champaign. How did it happen? The community engagement building relationships certainly helps. Um, that way there's a trust that's developed between the police department and the community. Deputy Chief Jeffrey Kuhn says it's back to the basics for the Champaign Police Department. The pandemic and low staffing numbers put officers through a challenging two years. But luckily, with loosening restrictions and dozens of new hires, they say they've been able to strengthen relationships with the people they protect. Murders dropped to nine last year from 17 in 2021. We'd like to get that number to zero in 2023 if at all possible. They've made arrests in all but one of last year's homicides, and Kuhn says installing automatic license plate readers at major intersections was a useful crime-solving tool. We can't be everywhere all the time, and neither can the community, and to have that technology available has been an amazing resource for us. Another striking statistic. Traffic stops increased 430 percent, allowing police to seize more illegal guns and drugs. Looking back on the trends, Kuhn says the department has been seeing fewer switches that make guns automatic. We have seen some polymer 80s, uh, commonly referred to as ghost guns, but again, I don't think that number is quite as high as it has been in the past, so I hope that we're trending in the right direction there. Back in October, police told us the majority of murders so far had been domestic related. Kuhn says he can't give further details on the motives at this point, but he says retaliatory shootings are trending downward. We do know a lot in 2021 was retaliatory, um, and that did seem to, to subside a little bit in 2022, so we were thankful for that. Champaign police say they attended 81 events like block parties and resource fairs last year. They're looking forward to continuing to offer those opportunities to foster relationships with the community. Jessica. All right, Scarlett, thank you. After facing a staffing shortage, Champaign police were able to hire 30 personnel members last year. That includes eight civilians, 14 new officers, and eight experienced officers. Altogether, the department responded to nearly 44,000 calls for service in 2022.